Okay, in a rush, in a rush, in a rush. We are in a pretty big rush. So we actually have two deals lined up. Uh, I have actually had some delays come up for, I believe this is, it's either the 450 or $500 budget build. So excuse me for not knowing what I'm um, making already, but uh, just know I got a really good deal for some computer parts. And uh, this is to help us finish off that build. So we're gonna go collect the RAM and we are collecting the graphics card. Oh God, what time is it? I'm, I'm running late. I got my keys in my shirt. Um, I was too busy loading up the car because uh, I am dealing with someone who seemed pretty sketchy on uh, offer up. And in order to make sure I don't get a graphics card that someone just found or stole, uh, I'm making sure that I bring up the computer, pull it into the Starbucks and say, hey, can we test it? Cause uh, you know, if they let me test it and it works, perfect. If they're a little bit sus about it, then, all right. See you guys in a second. Hey, sorry about that. 16 gigabytes DDR4. Awesome. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Well, now we have to rush over back to the Starbucks and then pick up our graphics card. <laughs> so we'll head over there right now. Hey, are you the one selling the card? Huh? You're the one selling the card? Alright, so just each hand selling the card. I'm just gonna throw it in here quick. Span, fan spin, all good. Okay, this is not a 1060. This is a GTS 450. I can't buy this. This is like a decade old car. Yeah, that yeah, that one's all good. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm trying to see. Because I want to make sure that because no, I know this was, but then when I was gonna meet up this guy, that's why I called you back. Okay. You know? Yeah, that that one that's like a 10 year old car, so I can't be using that. I swear to God. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, the actual camera now. One second. All right, so I don't know if you guys could hear that or you could see anything that was going on. You know, I had my iPhone recording. This ghetto couple, let, let me, here's the story. So I was actually supposed to be getting an EVGA 1060 three gigabyte card. For those of you guys that don't know, that is a card that was made roughly, I don't know, three, four years ago, probably three years ago, but it's a very good card for gaming still. Very good card. And someone was selling it for $100. I was really hyped. I messaged them saying, you know, I'd like to buy it for 100. I thought, you know what? I'm not even gonna haggle that. It's a good deal. So what time can you pick it up? And they said, you can buy it now. I said, okay, where are you located? They said they were near me this morning. So I was like, all right, let's go meet up. That's why we were in a rush earlier. And they say, you got the 100 cash, you headed there. They're asking all these questions. I'm like, yes, I'm headed there. Yes, I'm driving there. What's your ETA? I'm like, you were asking way too many questions. Like, what is going on? Is this stolen? I mean, not that I probably haven't bought stolen things before. And then they say, I ran out of gas a mile away. Can you come here, Flamingo and, Rem and Rainbow by Jack in the Box? I'm just like, that's the same parking lot as the Starbucks. Why are you last minute all of a sudden trying to change the location of where we're meeting? Then I say, it's actually in the same parking lot. They're like, yeah, 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 but we're a mile away. I said, no, like you're literally right there. So I take the computer, the really nice one, cause I don't have a GPU test bench anymore. Went into the Starbucks. I'm unscrewing the glass panel. I'm taking out the graphics card. I'm getting ready to plug this thing in, test it really quickly. And then this pulls out a GTS 450 out of the anti-static bag. What the f are you doing? Like, I, I I guess I have to respect the hustle because you know what she said right afterwards? I said, no, that's, that's a GTS 450. I can't do that. Right away, she goes, okay, so what you want to do that for? I was like, I don't. That's a 10 year old graphics card. I'm not touching that. And then she goes, oh, okay, for real? Okay. I got, I got to hit this dude up from, from where I got it from. Cause, uh, yeah, it was, that's really weird. I, I guess he, he gave me the wrong cars. So she tries to play that. I guess I got scammed card. Your first negotiation move was, okay, what do you want to do that for? If you really got scammed before you came to meet up and scam me, the first reaction you would have had isn't, oh, okay. All right. I'll, I'll sell you this anyways. What do you want? Get the f out of here with your bull. Are you? Look at that. Look, okay, you ready? Ready for this? There they are. There they are, right there. Oh, okay. Walk away. Oh, not you, white lady. Oh, walk away. Walk away without your 
without your money that you're trying to get from me. Okay, all right, so oddly enough, somebody was selling a GTX 1060 on Facebook Marketplace and actually posted it right as I got back from that last little scam. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over there and buy this one. And from what I can tell from my previous experience, I'm like 99% sure this card is legit. The guy's inviting me to his house. You know, nobody does that if they know they're selling something faulty. So I'm gonna head over there right now, get back to you when I got the card. Hello, Gonzalo, right? Hi, Chris, nice to meet you. Oh, can you see that? Oh, yes. We have the card now. Uh, he actually tested it for me on his 4K 144 hertz monitor. <laughs> it works. All right, so we are back at the house and so far all we have is our 16 gigabytes of Vengeance LED RAM and our Asus GeForce GTX 1060, the three gigabyte variant. So you're probably wondering, Chris, why are you back here? You're still missing a lot of well, I actually have a 256 gigabyte SSD that I got refurbished off of the Mercari app. So we're good on the drive. But yeah, you're right. We are still missing the power supply, the case, the CPU, the motherboard. You know, where is all that stuff? Well, something that I unfortunately did not get to cover in a video was an amazing deal that I actually made in a previous video. Do you guys remember how I got the 32 gigabytes of RAM for $160 in the Craigslist gave me 50% off video? Well, that same guy was actually selling a Ryzen 7 1700 bare bones system. So without further ado, let's meet the rest of our build. Oh. oh my God! Okay, don't let the mess fool you. This is a very powerful setup. In here, we have the Ryzen 7 1700 paired with an Asus ROG Strix X370. For those of you that don't understand, this is still one of the most powerful processors you can have in your computer as a consumer. Something this powerful isn't even that necessary for gaming. Like at this point, you're starting to look at like heavy video rendering and just, you know, visual effects for movies. Okay, maybe not full on movies, but in theory, you could edit a movie pretty successfully on this processor. And for the rest of the parts in the system, it actually comes with a dinky GT710 by Zotac, which is not really a graphics card, but it just kind of gets the job done. It's like something you would throw in your computer if you were just looking to watch videos on the internet. Powering all this is an EVGA 500 watt, 80 plus certified power supply. Probably not the power supply I would buy to make this system work, but it definitely does the job pretty well. And all of this is inside a Silverstone home theater PC case. I don't know which specific case it actually is, but you can definitely tell it's one of the home theater models by looking at the back and seeing that the rubber padding for where this thing's actually supposed to be laying down is more flat than it is vertical because this is not a showpiece case, there is no glass panel, so you actually won't be able to see inside this thing when it's running, you know, assuming you have the panel on. So now that we've seen all of our parts, let's get into the official price breakdown. The retail price of our refurbished Samsung 256 gigabyte SSD is $60 and the actual price I paid was $40. The retail price of our Vengeance LED RAM, which is supposedly clocked at 2400 megahertz, is $150 and the actual price I paid was $80. The retail price of our GeForce GTX 1060 three gigabyte variant from Asus is $260 and the actual price I paid was $100. And lastly, our bundle. So the retail value of the power supply is $36. The graphics card is $39. The case is $85, the motherboard $180, and the processor $190. So this full bundle at retail price is worth $530, and the actual price I paid was $250. So if we add everything up, the retail value of this computer would be exactly $1,000, and the actual price that I paid was $470. How'd you fucking do that? But enough talking about the numbers. Now you guys get to enjoy a beautiful time lapse while I put this thing together and fix the mess of these cables. <laughs>
is actually finished now. Um, it should work. The sad part is that this computer actually has some pretty nice looking components. Like we got the LED RAM, the 1700s stock cooler has a little LED light ring around it. The white Asus graphics card is actually really pretty to look at. And the motherboard does come with RGB, but um, unfortunately this home theater case does not actually come with pockets to hide your cables. I mean, it does come with some, but it's, it's so minimal that it, it doesn't even really do anything. I guess they didn't put that in there because you can't see through this case. I think I touched on that earlier. You can't get it all when you build on a budget. I mean, you know, you can actually, <laughs> I've, I've shown that you can, but uh, not in this specific situation. But for now, we're gonna cover this thing up and uh, take it over to the testing area. <laughs> So we're experimenting with a new testing area, but this is the moment of truth. I got everything connected. Now let's just see if it works. I'm not seeing a post. Oh, yes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run through this installation and I will cut to when we've got everything installed in here and we're ready to do some benchmarks. Okay, so we have downloaded everything that is absolutely necessary onto this computer. Now let's see what this PC can do. Okay, so the performance of this thing is actually insane, despite the fact that it looks like nothing more than an oversized Xbox. <laughs> Aside from that, there are actually a few things that I want to address before we end this video. Number one, this Ryzen 7 1700 actually got a very impressive score of 1400 in Cinebench R15. So if you are a content creator or streamer and you're looking to do something on a budget, I highly recommend you look for this processor used. Number two is that, like I mentioned before, there is quite literally no room for cable management inside this case other than zip tying the cables to the outside ring of the case. So on the rare chance that you're looking to build a computer and not showcase it with a tempered side glass panel, I still highly discourage you from getting this Silverstone PC case. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I know you guys have been requesting for a while that I do a medium budget used PC build for a while. So here it is. I hope you guys are impressed or found this thing to be more powerful than you expected. So as well, I actually have one more thing to say. So the channel growth for the last two weeks has actually been unbelievable and it's not something I can just quietly ignore. I wanted to say 
Thank you guys so much for watching these videos that I put out there. If you've been a long time subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're new to this channel and you like the videos that I'm putting out, seriously, thank you too. I, I, if Without all of you guys, none of this would be possible and I wouldn't be able to have the money to build these systems for you guys to see. Um, seriously, if you have any suggestions, new viewers, old viewers, anything you wanna see, leave it in the comment section below. I actually do read them. I believe Chris McGowan or Elliptor Sorry if I forget your name. Um, you're the one who actually suggested this build over and over as long with a few other people. So yeah, I, I really do read the comments. I pay attention to what you guys are saying and I'm trying to continue making videos that you guys would enjoy watching. So seriously, thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have a good day.